Waskily Wabbit Y Whiskey. <laughs> wabbit season. It is Wabbit season. Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey from Rabbit Hole. Wabbit season. Okay, it's Waskily. <laughs> Waskily Wabbit. All right, let's do this. This is our second one. Yes, this is our second Rabbit Hole Whiskey. This time it's the Rye. I met a human Dave. And I'm Elmer Mike. We are Brolic Whiskey. Let's do this. All right, I was uh, excited about this. I got so many nerd facts on this one too, so hopefully you guys are happy about the nerd info I got coming up for you guys. But nerd, nerd, nerd. But I'm hey, I'm excited to try this one. What are we doing here? Ah, what a low have you? What are we doing here? So. The reason that it, it's got a little bit of uh, alcohol missing from the bottle already is because I brought this two-hour whiskey meet up on Saturday, uh, and uh, so it was a brand new, fresh bottle. How'd they take to it? No one hated it. Okay. Oh, this smells so much nicer now, though, than I remembered it when it was a fresh bottle, and that's sometimes what bottles need. They just need a couple of mm. days to open up, but... Okay, so I'm, wow. I'm, I'm definitely getting cherry and crayons. How's that? How's that fit your nose? Since you've got probably twice as much as me. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm getting a lot of that that rye bread, pumpernickel type of bread. I mean, like it's. Oof! This smells nice, man. It it does. It does. Let me say this first things first. This is a 95% rye, 5% malted barley. For those in the know, you probably immediately think this is an MGP product. They're famous for their 95.5. This is not MGP. This wow. is their own recipe. I'll get into the facts later about that. But 95 rye, 5% malted barley. Yeah, there's a definite kick in here. And I'm assuming that's the rye. That real sharp sharpness on the front. A little drying of the tongue. Yeah. A lot of people often will say that it either reminds them of rye bread or dill pickles. No, not dill pigs. Rye bread, I can see. I'm, and I'm not a fan of rye Ooh, bread, that is sweet, too, though. Wow. Like, you get that rye, but then that Ooh. malt. This is nice, man. This is this tastes way better than it did just, what's today? At the time of this recording, Tuesday. It's only three days since we've opened it. That three days played a big factor in how much difference this smells and tastes. It finishes really nicely. Really on the back end, it really just kind of uh, mellows out, gets sweeter, but you can still have a little bit of a rye in there. Yeah. It, yeah. It finishes nicely. The front end's kind of an ass kicker for me. Really? Yeah. It's well, it's not that face. high of an alcohol percentage. It's 47.5. I think it's the the rye. Yeah. And I was telling you that the first time you had a rye, I was saying that you're probably not getting alcohol burn, you're probably getting that rye spice. Okay. And 47.5, it's a decent, that's actually props to you guys for not doing the whole let's go straight to 40% crap that most people do. 47.5 is respectable, but let's talk about the bottle, man. Like, it's a rabbit printed the, on the, there. The, the bottle's cool. I mean, you got the rabbit actually imprinted. Okay. right into the bottle which that's cool it's square so it's something a little different wow it's okay you know what i was kind of down on rye whiskeys this one this do we one, have a convert i don't know about a convert but i'm not so negative now um it like i said i i think that first rye whiskey we tried just really tainted me and I've been just kind of negative about it, but... It's hard to even consider this. that company a real rye company when they flavor their crap. Okay. <laughs> this has a nice, clean taste to it. It does. I am not a fan of rye bread. Okay. By no means. But I can drink this. I can drink this and enjoy it. Not choke it down. Enjoy it. I'm enjoying this a lot more than I was on Saturday. So okay. I actually hope I can save enough of this bottle to bring back to my meetup. So all the guys get to try it a second time. They all liked it on Saturday. No one, no one dogged it. But I think it's like night and day difference. I'm actually a big fan now. Um, that is nice. I think this is going to be a permanent shelf item for me because I like it that much. 
I don't know, this would make a nice infinity bottle. It would. It's a cool looking bottle. That's a nice one. Do you have a score in mind? Yeah. Uh, uh, six, three. <laughs> we never agree, man. Why? Uh, I'm, I love this, man. I'm going oh. like an 8.5. I like this. I really do. You're a nice guy, dude. Ah. Well. All that East Coast pleasantry. Oh, yeah. Us East Coasters are so known for our, yeah. <laughs> our pleasantries. I don't think so. So let's talk about the distillery. First things first, um, I will say this. We loved the first time we had a rabbit hole, which was their only sourced whiskey that they had, which is their, their PX Sherry finished bourbon. Rabbit Hole actually reached out to us because we liked it so much. They they did send us the bottles. They're, oh, really? They sent us the bottles to try pays no bearing on whether I like it or not so hmm. let that be a caveat to this review not not paid for this is still my true opinion I'm a huge fan we still have their regular bourbon to eventually get to I don't know if it's ever gonna see the channel but they did send us a bottle of gin as well gin gin they make gin so whiskey and gin okay yeah. I don't know how they why they make the two because they have column stills and it's it's really easy to just use the column still to also make bourbon Gotcha. But all right. So I will say this: um, Rabbit Hole is a brand new distillery. They were only found in uh, in 2014. Unlike most companies, rather than going straight to a sourced whiskey, trying to save some money and and get some product out there, the <laughs> only sourced whiskey they have is that that uh, sherry finish that I talked about. This is contract distilled. Meaning, they gave them the recipe and said, make it to these specs okay. while we build our distillery. So this is their own recipe made by New Riff. And if anyone knows anything about New Riff, they are also a brand new distillery that's making some fantastic juice. But out of the New Riff distillery, but to their recipe, right? So as of... Um, 2017 they started actually distilling their own stuff given that we need to wait a couple of years it's probably going to be a while before we see their own yeah. stuff unless they start blending maybe they do a blend of new riffs contracted stuff with a little bit of their own distillate but otherwise probably 2019 is the soonest that we'll see rabbit holes actually distilled stuff on the pro on the shelves and my seems like while I was talking, you hated the water. Yes. Okay. That is Tell correct. me about it while I so, sniff. Uh, on the nose, uh, sniffing it. Nice. Yes. Isn't it? It's very nice. Yeah. I, I got a really nice uh, caramel note in there that just, it was wonderful. It was just like warm caramel. It was beautiful. Now, taste-wise, I... It was poo. I didn't like it. It was too harsh. It it really brings out it's, that rye spice. Like yeah. you really get the rye. It's too much. It went to my throat and it just burned. And I did not enjoy it. Um, luckily, the finish was quick. It didn't stick around. Caveat was, again is keep in mind he is new to this. This is only mm -hmm. the second rye he's ever had. The first one I don't even really count since it was Templeton. But uh. <laughs> He's brand new to rye, so it's going to be a little harsh. And I could say, with the water, it really pulled out those rye notes. So for the right. rye fans, they might want to try it with a drop of water. If you like that spice, if you like that, that flavor note, that kick, that punch, then definitely put a drop of water in it. It is there. It is there. It's a big boot to the throat. It is. It's a big kick. It Beautiful nose. Yes. Hard kick of rye. Well, 95% of it is rye. Well, yeah. Um, but I'm going to agree with Mike in the sense of I feel like it did it a disservice. Although, yes, I got a big okay. kick of rye. It kind of pulled away from all those other great notes that I had when it was neat. Like, it was also sweet. It had some nice maltiness to it. This is just like, hey, here's all the rye. Let me suck all the water out of your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> now it, my, my tongue is dry It's from hard this. for a newbie. It's hard on a beginner. Yeah. Seasoned rye drinkers, um, drinkers that appreciate...
appreciate that, Rye? Yes, I say yes. I say yes. What do you give your score, though? Well, being a newbie, I'm probably going to drop it to a three. Wow. Yeah. All right. Because so you... it is too much. Like, you okay. just, you can't eat fireworks all day and expect good things to happen in your mouth. It's just too much. It's a big kick, but it's still not bad. It's not for me. I'd prefer it neat. I'm still going to give it a 6.3. Oh, I'm wow. I'm going to move this off to the side. Wow, 6.3, huh? Mike, could would you believe me if I said this is only two years old? No. Right? It no. doesn't taste like a young whiskey. Um, I, I wouldn't no. say it's a 10-year-old whiskey, no. not by any means. But if I had to guess, I probably would have thought it was probably about five years old or so. It yeah, doesn't come across as super immature, but it's it's barely two years old from what what I gather. Yeah, um, two years old? What is that? Just a just a short skip away from being moonshine, isn't it? Yeah. Well, two years old is the minimum requirements to be a legal straight whiskey. Okay. So if you you if you hear straight bourbon or straight rye, that means a minimum of two years. It also means non chill filtered. No color added, no flavor additives like a regular rye. Remember, we talked about 2.5 percent could be yeah. flavor additive. When it's a straight rye, not that doesn't apply. So this one's not filtered, nothing added. No, and it's still this beautiful color. Kentucky has a, a beautiful climate for fast aging, I guess. Wow, that's a wonderful color. Well, um, let's talk about the people who are actually involved, Mike, because this is a new distillery. But these are not rookies who are involved in the company. That's why they're putting out a great product. So the head distiller for Rabbit Hole, Cameron Talley, he's from Wild Turkey. One of okay. my favorite bourbon makers. Quality. Now, Larry Ebersold, he's from MD Seagram's, a.k.a. MGP. Okay. He's the one who basically invented... The recipe that MGP is known for, that 95.5. Uh -huh. So Larry basically was like, hey, this is what I did with MGP. Rather than buy from them, let's make it ourselves. Gotcha. So he's involved, but then everyone else in the company is either from like Brown Foreman or Jim Beam, Woodford Reserve, you know, like all wow. these different guys. They brought in all dudes that are actually been a part of the company or the industry for years. These are newbies. These are not rookies. Wow, okay. New company with... He experts involved but you can taste it you can taste it to produce a, a two-year-old whiskey that you know doesn't taste wow. like a two-year-old whiskey i like it i like you it. had it already yeah while i, I was like talking it. i didn't even notice you drank it no um, um nose wise it, it smells it like smells crayons something. yeah it's crayons uh, on the taste though that ice took that spice down yep and now it's manageable for me and it's pleasurable now I can kind of understand why people do like rye whiskeys. I'm starting to learn. Why a lot of people pleasant. will use rye in cocktails too. Like some people, will, rather than bourbon, will use a rye in an old fashioned. Um, I can see that. This is, yeah. I'm impressed how good it tastes on ice. Well, now that I drink this, this is, it's kind of reminding me of like fall. That's like, that's a like, good way of thinking about like it. Spiced bread, okay, things like that. It's, yep. it's like fall time. It's like uh, uh, you know, roasted nuts, things that you know, campfire stuff. It's it, it seems very nice to sit on a porch and drink on a on a cool evening. I, I can see this. I understand why people like right now. I I'm I'm really really impressed at how well it tastes on ice. Honestly, yeah. I didn't expect this. It's quality. What um, do you give on the score? I'm taking this up to probably. I'm gonna go right at six. I can. I can. You always confuse the shit out of me, man. I, you. You. I'm you're gonna, talking. You're talking about it like you liked it. I thought you were gonna go much higher than that. No, I mean this is a. This is a. An enjoyable way to enjoy rye. I. I can't say yeah. this is something I'd go to. Really? But you wouldn't. If no. I was to say, hey, look, I'm gonna pour you a, a glass of this. You're gonna say, nah, I want no, something no, no, else. No. no, that's that's exactly what I'm not saying. Okay. I'm not going to personally go out and look for it. Okay. But if I'm coming over and you say, hey, let's have some rabbit hole, I'm not going to say no. Um, I forgot to look up the exact pricing, but I'm pretty sure it goes for under $50. Oh. So I'm pretty yeah. sure it's like in the $45 to $50 range. That's an easy, easy choice. Easy choice. Buy two. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, for me, I got to say I was shocked at how much I enjoyed the whiskey yes. on ice. I did not expect it. I still prefer it neat. Absolutely. I think that's the best way to enjoy this one. But it's a respectable 7 out of me. Like, I liked it. Oh, it's how, enjoyable. How am I so far off base when you're saying I'm a 6? Because you seven. you hyped it up, man. And Look, six and six point and six between six and seven, that's a big point difference. Alright. So yeah, it smells sweet now. I get maple syrup. Like not not like pancake syrup, but maple. Hmm. It is so strong. For me, maple syrup is pancake syrup. Well, I just can't afford maple syrup all the time. <laughs> benefits of not having kids and only having to pay for you and your wife true <laughs> okay on the taste it's a little weird to me it's been sitting around about five minutes or so hmm. that was a little weird well a yeah. lot of those spice notes are, are really diffused now mm. I'm not liking it no I, I think it took out I think it took out what I would assume is the beauty of rye. Yeah, yeah um, I would say pa if you're gonna drink it, don't don't let it sit around for like 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes I enjoy a whiskey that way. This is not one of those times. We're torn on this uh, rye whiskey. I definitely say it's a must buy. You know, I think this is gonna be a permanent shelf staple for me. I liked it a lot. Uh, props to Rabbit Hole. Thank you for sending us a bottle to review. You wascoey wad it. <laughs> Chopsticks. Well, they say all good things come to an end. What's that got to do with this show? <laughs> <laughs>